We're gonna interrupt this video to show you some DIY oh, you stuff. The, uh, the Gotta be kidding, he's talking on top of oh, my video. Okay. Then you could just do two, Three. four of them. Yeah. Well, four of them, and then separate it. You yeah. know, because we, we can get extra, you know, extra space here, cheat yeah. a little bit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And then, th you know, this one here, we can start a little farther back, and you know, so that we have, you know, the four to four of them. Today, yeah. it's gonna be a good day because everything that you see behind me, like everything over here, it needs to be moved. It needs to be packed. It needs to be relabeled. It just needs to be not there right now. It's gonna be a long day. But we are hoping that by the end of today, it's going to be a brand new place. It's going to be a blank slate and it's going to be awesome. So we're going to interrupt this video to do some DIY stuff. So this uh, little process that the guys on battery hookup, they have to test voltage for this type of battery, right? So most of the time, they just take the lead of a multimeter, like this one, and they just test it, like this. They check the voltage, whether it's the voltage they're looking for or not, they just toss it away, or they just put it on the bin. But the problem with that is that it takes time to move from one side to the other, and we just came up with a solution. So basically what we're gonna do is take a bad battery charger that still have the leads over here. And we're just gonna use that. We're gonna connect it to the cables so or the multimeter. And then you just plug in the battery. It's gonna read out the voltage that you need. And that's, and that's the way you test those batteries. Basically, I'm just gonna put uh, a little bit of solder. These are the terminals for the PCB board that you have here. So you got your positive over here. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of solder on that. And a little bit over here. This whole PCB is useless because you know, it's damaged. Now we're just gonna clip this cables over here. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I have enough room because I'm going to place this over here like that. If I place it right here, it's going to be better. So now I'm just gonna peel out the double-sided tape. You stick it right here. So now everything's over here. Just turn it off. Turn it off. We need to run these cables underneath over here. To measure out the distance that I need, which is gonna be right here. Just cut it out. So all I have to do is just remove insulation from here. Start making stuff like that. So now that I have this, all I have to do is take the cables over here, and all I have to do is just connect it right here. Just get it a little bit closer. There you go. Now, just do this one also. 
to add some more solid to it. And before I close everything up, I want to just take a battery, test it out, turn it on, make sure I'm on DC voltage. I need to move this a little bit farther to the front. Let's see now. Can just show you? See? And now you have a test head where you just push the battery on, give you the voltage. It's a good, put it on the good beam. It's a bad distraction. But now all I have to do is just close this up that and there you go folks now you have a what it used to be something that was going to be trash out now it's just something that it could be used for voltage testing and everything and it just works check it out now it gives you the voltage. So hopefully you guys like that little hack where we built a DIY battery tester or whatever, which you just take a dead battery charger, a multimeter, just connect it together, and that's it. Now it will be much faster to test batteries. So thank you for watching and let's continue with the video. Cool. What are you talking about? Yehu Garcia? Mm -hmm. The one that has a... Is that well, you? Well, I, I, I have a channel, <laughs> but... Nice, yeah, nice. he's a friend. Yep. Yeah. That's cool, man.